Hey goodies, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! <laughs> um, I really hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year celebrating season um, with your family and it's supposed to be me. But I got stuck in Kenya again. <laughs> I was supposed to spend Christmas and New Year's with my mom and siblings and friends and anyways. You know, I'm sure the next time it will be even better, you know, the next plan that we have set down it will be even greater than this time because, you know, we're gonna have all this. No, it's not gonna be, okay, it's gonna be good, but this was, oh. I'm trying to make myself feel better here, but I haven't gotten myself to do that just yet. Um, so yeah, they've been um, away, they were in Miami, we're to meet in Miami. And I even ask, like, normally they'd be sending pictures. I'm like, where are the pictures? They're like, nobody's in the mood, you know, because I'm not there. But I'm happy they're healthy. Um, yeah, that's all that counts right now. Anyways, today I'm going to get checked again to see whether or not I still have COVID. Y'all, this Omicron variant... Most people that I've spoken to, they just complain about headache. Then they think, oh, I'm better. But then, boom, it just hits them for like a day or two. And then recovery is so fast, less than a week. That's what happened to me. I told you guys what led me to getting tested, what made me suspect that I had COVID again for the third time. For the third time. For the third time, right? And yes, yeah, so it was mainly the headache. I was feeling fine. After I recorded that video that night, I had breathing issues. The next day, oh my God, flu symptoms, crazy. Like, choo, choo, this. I did the whole steaming thing. I was choking, dying. I was, oh, oh I'm not going to survive this. I was this close to even going to the hospital. People were telling me, oh, you should be admitted. Oh, you should at least go get checked. I was like, let me hold this out. It got worse at night. Same thing my friends that had it said. I was like, wow. But then like, the next day, it was like a magical recovery. And I was not taking any meds. I was just taking vitamin C, a lot of herbal teas and stuff. But yeah, I wasn't taking any flu meds. My body is very weird when it comes to meds. Even for my menses, I just stick to the pain because things happen. Let's just say my body does not like to be medicated. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's up. But let me address something though. Because people think I'm rich and... You know, traveling the world. No, I am poor and stranded. <laughs> okay, I'm not poor. Um, but personally, like me, myself, I don't have money. So I'm not here traveling on people's money, guys. I'm just making the best of my situation. So no, I am not rich and traveling and enjoying my youth. I wish. I am broke and stranded. Please. Thank you very much. <laughs> um so pretty much when i was in zambia i did not take a direct flight to state or to jamaica because if y'all didn't see my, my tiktok video tickets were like five thousand and then the lowest you'd get it would be like two thousand and then it was just too much i always try finding the cheapest way out even when i'm not spending my own money like i don't like spending money you know save if you can that's what i was trying to do so ask anybody check for yourself just leaving zambia it's expensive at zambia on a whole zambia on a whole the cost of living is cheap it's low but as a foreigner anything you have to do pretending with a foreigner it's so costly and that's one of the reasons i decided not to take a job there that would be in another video like just to get settled at a foreigner traveling it's expensive so i left from zambia to ethiopia to kenya flights from kenya were way cheaper like under a thousand dollars like i got a flight to my from um it was to go to dubai to miami it was under seven hundred dollars compared to five thousand dollars i'm just like i'm in a spot where i don't know what to do and to you emirates you lying bunch of people yeah and i had a feeling so my flight for december 25th when, when no before it got cancelled let me tell you guys yes we have time actually we don't have time i should have been at the hospital an hour ago but let me tell you guys hey emirates 
I knew it. All these airlines in general, I understand. Staff might be might be low on you might be low on staff, this and that. But we have a life too, and we didn't cause COVID. Like people at airlines in general are treating their passengers as if we started COVID. Have you guys seen me clearly? I think the lighting is changing. Anyways, yes, they're treating us as if we are the ones that's causing them to be low on staff. Well, maybe because people are going giving them COVID. Ish. What I wanted to say is, right, before my flight got cancelled, there was a 48-hour ban that UAE had put on Kenya, flights leaving Kenya to Dubai. When everything was getting better, I went before my flight even. It was like the week before. And I went and I said, listen, I'm having a bad feeling. Like, I always trust my instincts. Like, I knew my flight, my first one was going to get cancelled. And I went all the way to the airline office and I said, yo, please give me an earlier date. Whatever it costs, I need to leave earlier because something is going to happen. They guaranteed me, assured me, right, that everything was going to be fine. And then they made it seem like it would be impossible to change my face. It's not impossible, but they knew. Hmm. Anyways bam that one got cancelled then i went they said oh they'll be good to go from january 2nd so all flights would have resumed from january 3rd i did not want to take the refund because the last time i was stuck in kenya for eight months it took two months to get my refund right and i ain't balling out here i can't just be like okay give me a refund whenever you want i'm gonna ball out and buy another ticket because i got it no because we don't got it we don't got it yeah so i was like okay Give me the closest, the next closest flight. But I knew these people were scheduling people on flights that UAE did not tell them, hey, the ban would be lifted. When I went on the website, something just told me, check. Because on Twitter, everywhere, the news is that the ban was indefinite. Nobody knew, knew nobody knows when that ban would be lifted and i also considered going to tanzania ghana any other country i could leave from you were eat by those two they banned angola they banned tanzania they banned everywhere i was even like yeah let me go back to zambia because y'all know me i love me some zambia <laughs> anyways the next one was for this weekend cancelled i knew it and then what they're still doing they just keep pushing it back, pushing it back. So that this week they've canceled all their flights. The next week, if the ban isn't lifted, they'll cancel again. So I'm like, I am not gonna be in this waiting game when other airlines, Kenya Airlines is they're still leaving, Qatar is still leaving, Air France is still leaving. I can go through Paris, go through I only can't go through Canada because I don't have a Canadian visa. That's my fault. But anyways, <laughs> Oh, it's so much, guys. So it's like, what do I do? And then the other thing is, even if I do take my refund, they're not giving cash back directly to your credit card. These people are giving you airline voucher. Who told these people I'm coming back this side anytime soon? And the voucher is valid for a year. Me, I'm going home to work for a year, nonstop, no, no break. I'm not getting holidays because I have to do. I have to redo my internship in Jamaica. So a voucher doesn't make sense. These people want to ruin us. I, I see, I see it, man. They want to ruin me. What? What did I do to you guys? Huh, Emirates? Why the sun come mash up my lighting? Let me leave. So right now, guys, I don't know what to do. Because getting a refund is pretty much saying bye-bye to the money. And I don't say bye-bye to And then if I don't take the refund, that means I'm waiting. Could be another month to... And then the other thing, staying in Kenya, this is what happened when I got stuck last year. So we're allowed to be in like these countries without a visa, up to three months. But then at the embassy, they asked me, how long are you planning to... The embassy? What is that place? The, the uh, customs. I told them just a week. So they just gave me a month. Then what happens? You have to keep renewing, renewing, extending. I mean, extending, extending the thing while I'm here and I'm not leaving. And it's a lot of stress. I do not want to go through all this again. And then I know people want to get me out, but I don't want them to spend so much money. 
it's so stressful so anyways even uh, i really i think my test will come back negative then when it comes negative we're just gonna get a new ticket with a different airline and that means getting a refund and that means getting a voucher and that means uh, it's like one oh before i sing oh shit we had 11 minutes this is a whole video and i haven't even started the video i'm okay guys let's go see this doctor this doctor that's what that's what they call doctors here the doctor is um doctor i am a doctor <laughs> okay guys let's go i'm sorry for all of this Be gentle. Oh God. Oh God. It's negative. Because I, I want to go home. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Booster shot time. I think you should go get signed up over here. I don't care who gets upset with me. I mean, move away from people. I said, oh, want these ones to beat me. But just imagine, you know, Kenya and Zambia are very different. Even if you're sick and getting COVID test, here in Kenya, you have to pay. <laughs> in Zambia, you do not pay. Okay, well, I didn't pay. No, they call the people for booster shots. I'm here for my booster shot. She's going to say she's been here since 7 30. <laughs> now she's going home. We don't understand because once you open these things, she has it here. <laughs> well, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Don't these things have expired? It's some like, oh, they're finished. She's like, no, they're not finished. She's just going home. Somebody make this make sense to me. <laughs> So even now, me, I don't even want it. I told my mother to please get, because um, even if your vaccination has been the last, the second dose has been over six months, if you have proof that you have an appointment to get your booster shot in States, you can still board the flight. So I told my mom to make that appointment for me in the States, because now me, I don't trust these people's booster. If you want to have it here, ready to give to people, but say because they're tired, you're going. <laughs> Kenya is different, you know? <laughs> I mean, so people Kenya is very similar to Jamaica with the craziness. Not isn't this your job? It is just one o'clock, and she's telling me she's going home. Even if she decides to give me, I'm going to refuse. Just like how all me and all my friends, all my friends and I, we got vaccinated the same time in Zambia, and then we got sick. We're all sick this very same time. <laughs> That's too much coincidence. Me and I want their booster. They have to keep it crazy the thing is not expired she wants it to be expired because she wants to go home it's so sick for those of us who come from outside with our vaccination certificates that can't be um, shown in their system we don't get vaccinated here whether it's a second dose or it's a booster shot <laughs> it's just weird because even the girl that was registered me she was scrolling scrolling i'm like what are you doing she was she was scrolling from 2022 to my birth date it's far <laughs> and i'm like you do this for every person you were just there the system is so cold <laughs> waiting on our border border <laughs> here he is nelson story i was trying to iron my shirt <laughs> on my body but now the scab long story i was don't be lazy 
Certificate of the uh, Oh, not Chief uh, uh, okay. Yeah, because it's the. There is. We have the second one. This is my booster. Booster? Yeah, top with the. That's the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love injecting people, but don't come try to <laughs> put a needle to me. Please don't. Okay, there's this zinc block in the view, but let's look into the city, guys. Look out in the city. And it's beautiful. Okay, guys, so that was a success. Oh, I just noticed the ceilings. Okay, guys, so I got the. That doctor is very nice. You know, I have this thing about me. I don't like sitting down waiting for somebody to call me. Me, I'm just going to walk in the room. And I think that's how I approach life as well. Um, yeah, so heading home now. I'm COVID negative and I got my booster. I'm ready to go. Oh my God. Peace, Kanye. Okay, but on a serious note, don't invite me anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not coming to your house. I'm not coming to your party. I'm not doing nothing, right? I'm negative. I need to stay negative. <laughs> Y'all need to stay negative too. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Mm. I hate touching my mask. <laughs> oh. <laughs>